Voyager 1 has traveled farther than any human-made object in history. 15 billion miles from Earth, its fading instruments were expected to fall silent at any moment. And then, something happened. Its latest, and possibly final, transmission wasn't a farewell. It was a warning. Buried within static and radiation was a pattern, structured, intelligent, impossible, a neutrino signal. Voyager 1 shouldn't be capable of detecting neutrinos. It doesn't have the instruments. And yet, the signal it sent was real, repeating, and mathematically precise. What did Voyager 1 intercept in the void of space? A glitch, a cosmic anomaly, or something that confirms what many feared all along, that we are not alone and the universe just answered back. Voyager 1 systems are almost 50 years old, powered by a decaying nuclear battery. It was built to measure plasma, radiation, and magnetic fields, not neutrinos, those ghost-like particles that pass through stars, planets, and even humans without a trace. Detecting neutrinos requires underground labs the size of football fields. And yet, Voyager's latest transmission contained a structured neutrino oscillation pattern, so precise that it mirrored theoretical models never seen in nature. NASA and CERN were the first to notice. At first, they assumed interference, a glitch, but the pattern held. Mathematical, repeating, deliberate. Voyager 1 had received something that it never should have. To make sense of the transmission, scientists turned to AI, deep learning systems originally developed to detect alien signals. And that's when things got worse. The AI found order, not just repetition, but prime number sequencing within the neutrino oscillations, a hallmark, according to SETI researchers, of non-natural communication. This wasn't like pulsars. This wasn't a magnetar flare. This was something else, something with internal logic, symmetry, and intention. CERN's top physicists couldn't explain it. NASA's engineers ruled out all possible spacecraft malfunctions. So they asked the unthinkable, did Voyager 1 just intercept a message? The global scientific community is now split across three terrifying possibilities. Theory 1, Voyager has encountered a new force of nature, evidence of sterile neutrinos, long theorized but never proven. If true, this could rewrite the standard model of physics. Theory 2, Voyager didn't detect neutrinos at all, but intercepted a neutrino-based signal from deep space, a message perhaps from an unknown cosmic intelligence using neutrinos to communicate. Theory 3, the least fantastic but equally disturbing possibility. Voyager's systems were altered, interacted with, changed by something in interstellar space we don't understand. Each theory carries weight, and none have ever been observed before. Voyager's power is fading. Within a few years, maybe sooner, it will go dark forever. And yet, in its final moments, it has delivered one last enigma. Now, the race is on. NASA, CERN, IceCube, and other neutrino observatories are analyzing decades of past Voyager data to see if this pattern appeared before, unnoticed. Voyager 2 is being monitored for anything similar, and ground-based detectors are now listening for neutrino signals from space. But there's one truth no one can deny. Voyager 1 has already heard it, and no one can explain how or why. While NASA publicly downplays the anomaly, leaks from internal sources paint a very different picture. Shortly after the transmission, emergency briefings were held with the Pentagon, the European Space Agency, and top-tier scientists from Russia, China, and Japan. Why the sudden urgency? Because if this neutrino pattern was sent, if it was deliberately encoded, then someone out there sent it. And that possibility isn't just scientific, it's geopolitical. The real fear isn't what Voyager received. It's the question no one can answer. Who or what knew we'd be listening? As experts dug deeper, a disturbing truth began to emerge. The signal didn't seem to be aimed at Earth at all. Its structure, timing, and trajectory suggested it was targeted elsewhere, toward a region far beyond our solar system, deep in the galactic void. That led to a chilling possibility. Voyager 1 wasn't the recipient. It was the bystander, an unintended witness to a message passing between unknown entities. And if that's true, then we weren't meant to intercept it. We were never supposed to hear it. And now that we have... 
what happens next? Among a small group of theoretical physicists, a radical new idea has emerged. They call it the contact threshold, the point at which a civilization becomes capable of receiving messages not bound by light, radio, or even time. Voyager, drifting in silence beyond the heliosphere, may have crossed that threshold. Not because it was fast, but because it was quiet. In doing so, it may have triggered a recognition protocol, a kind of cosmic handshake reserved for beings mature enough to listen without interfering. This wasn't a transmission, it was an invitation, and humanity just RSVP'd without knowing what we signed up for. Since that final signal, nothing, no follow-up, no anomaly, no trace. And that's what terrifies scientists the most. Because in the aftermath of something that defied all logic, the universe went completely silent. Did we pass the test or fail it? Was it a warning, a farewell, or a countdown? One thing is certain, Voyager is still out there, drifting into the unknown, its systems slowly dying. But the message it carried may have already delivered something back. Not a reply, not a threat, but a presence that now knows we were listening. Voyager 1 was never supposed to find anything. It was launched to drift into the dark, to carry a golden record and quietly fade into cosmic silence. And for nearly five decades it did just that. Until it didn't. Its final transmission wasn't just data, it was a moment, a threshold. Proof that the void isn't empty, and that something out there was waiting for us to listen. A neutrino pattern with mathematical intent, a signal not meant for Earth, yet heard by the only machine brave enough to reach beyond the edge. And now, as Voyager 1 falls into silence, it leaves us with a question we may never answer. What happens when you hear a message that wasn't meant for you? We didn't just detect something. We may have been detected. And the scariest part? Whatever sent that message hasn't said another word. Let us know what you believe in the comments. Was it science? Was it contact? Or was it the beginning of something we're not ready to face? Subscribe, turn on notifications, because this isn't the end of Voyager's story.